and we're off. Hello, Sunday Tea. We're still here. Just had to take a break, you guys, so we can um, get some of these questions. Can somebody read me a question, please, so I can answer, and we'll direct to everybody else. There's a question that you're addressing from already. Yes. Someone said you're sick. Can Someone you read it to me? They said I'm sick. No. Oh, that someone. everyone who is transgender or gay is sick, and uh, how does, do you believe in God? Who, who, do I or do the... the Obviously, the, these guys. Do you okay, believe, do you in, believe God? in God? I do believe in God, because I was raised in a Catholic family, but I was also accepted as being gay in my family, because that's important. So... I'm not born to preach, but I need to say something. People should know to distant religion from God. Your God is your God, my God is my God. Your religion is yours, and you're entitled to your, your opinion, and I respect it. So that is only you. So I do not believe in religion, but of course I do believe in a higher power. I do believe in God, for sure. Uh, I also do believe in God, and I also believe that God loves us all. If we're, if we're sinning, there's so many sins mm -hmm. that people can fall on a daily basis, but nobody's here to really be like oh nobody's shouting them like you're doing this wrong you're doing this wrong but it's so easy to blame us uh because we're gay i don't think that's fair i believe god loves everybody gay straight men women and so this i just always find it very interesting if we go by the idea that by Christian idea that God created us in his equal, then why was I made this way, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if he didn't want this, why did he create all these different races, all these different ethnicities, all these different body types, all these different sexualities, different if it was something that he didn't want? Yeah, he Obviously, want. the person, mm -hmm. like the higher power, did yeah. want diversity in human beings. Also, if you're going to go with the Bible, like, yes, it says, Le like, from Leviticus 18-22, it says that, if you lie with another man, if you're a man lying with another man, you should be stoned to death or something like that. But how come other people are wearing different kinds of fabrics? That is also a sin. If you are laying on with your man and you have your period, you should not be laying with him for seven days. How come we don't do that? And there's a lot of adul adulterers in this world. How come we don't undress that? It's always about the gay people that's, you know, it's always like, Me negative, mental, and stuff like that. But we don't address all those sins. Can I address? Can I address? What was the question again? I got lost. There's Do so you many. believe in God? Do I believe in God? I know I believe in God. When I look at myself, I see God. Um, we're all sitting here judging. I, I don't believe that we should judge. I didn't go out and hold his hand and tell him to be what he is. I didn't go out and hold her hand and tell her what she should be. Neither Varen and neither Mark. This is something to bring awareness. It is not to push, her for, push, push us farther. This is to pull us closer as humans. To accept people for who they are. Even if they're to be judged, they're not to be judged by us. As you're talking about God and praying for everybody in this room, God loves us all no matter what the circumstances. So we are not allowed to judge. We are allowed to do one thing, and it's called love each other. Why, That's what it is. Why are you guys creating your own Bible and twisting the scriptures? Ooh. We're not. I, 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 didn't I didn't mention a scripture. I just mentioned that God loves us all. So what did we change in the scripture? Can, you, can, can, you can, can they elaborate? Why you guys? Why are you guys using the rainbow? It was never yours and doesn't belong to you. It belongs to God. So I'd like to touch base on that. Kind of something that I said previous was that if God created us in His equal, then why are we such and such, right? Um, and that He created diversity. The reason why we use the rainbow as our pride is because we are diverse. The LGBT people are not just black people, they're not just Spanish, they're not just Asians, they're not white, they are everyone, they are humans, right? So the whole point to, of using the rainbow is to just... Promote diversity. Exactly, yeah. and just bring forward the fact that anybody and everyone could be gay. Like, it's not something, as we mentioned, that you choose, it is something that you are born with, it is something that was just 
given to you by the higher power, as mentioned before. So, the rainbow is our pride in our diversity, in our differences. I think there's a food they're giving to people to be gay. <laughs> oh my god. Can I get me some of that? I, I want some more of that. I want more cherry. Does it come gay. with cherry though? Does it come with cherry? Because I like cherry. <laughs> like, I, I would love some, you know. How everything you, with sparkles is always better. This is for Grace. Do you think you will grow out of it? Your half interests? Um, I wouldn't say it's something that I'll probably grow out of it. Um, I don't think I can look at women sexy today and then tomorrow I don't find them sexy. I'll always love women. How do you feel about so, the word Bible? So, sorry, just uh, to touch on that. Uh, <laughs> I have a heterosexual friends, lots of them. Business associates, uh, business partners, friends, family. But one thing I can tell you about what happened in their bedroom, I have people that I know that are married, and I'm not saying that they're in the closet or not. I'm just saying that people are curious. But once you come out and say, then all oh, this and this and this and that. I'm sure even the person asking that question, there's some certain things that they do in their bedroom that other people <laughs> might find, oh my God, why do you like to pull hair? Or <laughs> women are curious. <laughs> women are curious and some men are curious. Doesn't mean that you are forced to choose or not to choose. You just be who you are. Yeah. It's like you can love what you love at different times. And it's also not their business who you love. Like, don't come to me because I can tell you some freaky stuff. So, yeah. but I love who who I love. You love who you love. That's it. How do you feel about the word Bible? <laughs> it's just the wow. word. A I mean, yeah, it's another word. It's I don't hate the word red. As can I like, can I say something? Okay, I don't think Bible was written by God. God don't have a pen. It's made by, like, selfish men, sexist men, and someone who is, like, sexually deprived men. Like, it's all written by them. If you look at it, they talk about adultery and stuff. Like, you know? To uh, me, it's like, it's man-made. Well, it's... Um, the Bible, it's, that's a very controversial topic, and I think it should also be a topic for another day, but since you ask, uh, it's the Bible. There's people who believe in it, and they respect it, just like any other book or any other religion. It should be respected, but it should also not be forced upon people or individuals. Neither should be the Quran, which belongs to mm -hmm. Muslim people, should also not be forced upon other people, but we also need to respect and tolerate that religion. Do you believe in God, Mark? I do believe in God. I believe in the higher power, although my um, mindset is different. I do believe in the higher power, but I do not believe what the Bible says about everybody. So to me, there is God, but I don't believe in the book itself. You need to have a talk. You need to ha have a TV talk show because what? It's just a comment to appreciate gratitude, which you can go over later on. Um, Anything else you guys want to say? Anything else? Want Does anybody else want to conclude before we close? Because this was a questionnaire. Or we'll ask them if they have any more questions. Do you guys have any more questions for the panel? The panel is ready to talk and explain. What's the difference between believing in God and believing in the Bible? There's no such thing as a talking snake. No. Oh, I, I um, will touch on that. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, it depends where you come from, right? Uh, I come from a country where we used to have a holy fire. There was no Bible. There was no religion saying Christianity. That's why I said this topic is really, really broad. So we would go, and in the evening, after all the chores are done, kettle has been herded, there's a fire, and everybody sit around the fire, and we go in a trance, and we pray. No books were there, none of that. So people brought that over. Europeans brought the Bible. So if you want to ask, how can you believe in God and not believe in the Bible, are you trying to mock 
my ancestors. You want to say they didn't know what they were believing in? So now I'm going to have to take out my 60 gigabyte and we're going to have to talk on another day <laughs> because uh, I self-study and I feel like I'm very educated. But those are two separate, like, don't skip, you know, first grade or second grade. To give you an analogy, it's like saying the word in English for God is God, obviously. However, in Spanish, it's Dios. Just because it's in a different language or it's a different way of saying it doesn't mean that it's not still real. The same goes for the actual theology or the idea of God. Whatever your religion may be, whatever you believe in, it doesn't matter what you call it, there is still a separation between the spirit or the, the idea, the, the feeling, the higher power, and how we humans interact with it or what we call it. So to kind of answer your question, you can believe in a higher power without having to believe or having to follow set rules guided by humans. Or